It is June the 19th, 2022, a Sunday, and we're in the Sligo Mill Conservation Neighborhood Park. And because we have law enforcement individuals who are getting paid to do nothing, but enforce selective enforcement the citizens or let me rephrase that the volunteers came out here to clean up this park in Tacoma Park Maryland where the citizens and this government of this little town say that they are a green town but as you see we're going back to square one again because of this government that is not enforcing any kind of laws in this kind of town other than harassing law-abiding citizens and making up false charges on law-abiding citizens. Now we're out here in this park again and we monitor this park just for this kind of reason. And here we have, let me see if I can get all of it, a bucket of oil where somebody has changed their oil in their car and threw it out here in the park. But yet and still, this green town has cameras in the trees. But we still having trash dumped all up and down this street because we have a government that is worthless. And citizens who are brown nosing and ass kissing keep putting these clowns back into office again. That bucket of oil was not there yesterday. As you see, we got trash being thrown back in the, the forest again after the volunteers came out here and cleaned it up. The National Montgomery County National Committee on Parks came out, put these signs up. There's more parking on this street now than it was before the signs went up because they know these individuals who ride around let me rephrase that the command of these individuals in this little town it ain't shit and that's from the chief on down to his sergeants because they know they do what they want to do in this little town there's more no parking signs but yet and still we have cameras in trees. In a minute, I'm gonna call the park police to get them out here and give me some CCN numbers for this oil and the thing. But I just wanna show the citizens of Tacoma Park, why are you paying these high taxes for zero patrols? As you see one of the videos from yesterday, they're out patrolling Prince George's County accident when they should be patrolling inside of their own boundaries. As you see, this is again out here in the wooded area. But yet and still, they won't patrol their own area. They're hiding out behind big businesses and selectively enforcing certain things in this little town. And taxpayers, it's time for them to go. It's time for them to go. You should think long and hard about re-electing these individuals into office because the only time they start acting 
is when it's time to reelect them and stir up and try to fool the people in this town that they're doing something. So let's call the Montgomery County Park Police to get them out of here to give a report on, get somebody to get this oil out of here before a deer or some wild animal or some lunatic comes out here and pour this oil into the forestry. Montgomery County National Park Police. Communications is off How may I help you? Um, I need an officer out at Sligo Mill Road. Okay, for what? I have a bucket of oil sitting in the park where someone changed their oil and put it right in the park. You said Sligo Ave Park? Sligo Mill Park. It's the what is Sligo Mill Conservation Neighborhood Park, I think that's what they call it. And it, there is a parking lot, correct? No, ma'am. No, there's no parking lot? Nope. It's on a dead-end street off of New Hampshire Avenue uh, behind the uh, seafood restaurant, Mid-Atlantic Seafood Restaurant. Okay, hold on one second. These chairs have been sitting in here almost two months now. And they're still sitting here. Okay, sir. So is the oil in the actual park or is it on the road? No, it's in the park. It's your jurisdiction. Right, but is it they, they drove in the grass and changed the oil? No, it's in a bucket, and it's sitting. They set it inside the tree line, inside the park. The bucket of okay, oil that is makes in. More sense. Oh, you thought that the car they're doing? No, the bucket of oil is in the park. Bucket of oil is in the park. Yeah, your um, crossroads are Sheridan. Correct. The crossroads are Sheridan and Sligo Mill Road. They're familiar with this area. And your first name? Michael. And Michael, what's, a good, what's your last name? I'll be here when the officer gets here. Okay, what's your phone number? I'll be here when the officer gets here. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm recording sir. this. I'm recording uh, this sir, so I don't sir. want my information over the line. Uh, sir, but if the officer can't find you, if he goes to the wrong location, I want the officer to at least be able to contact you so he can get to you directly. Well, I'm not giving out my telephone number. Okay. Okay. That's fine. All right. These people on these 911 are more busy trying to get information from a caller than to send somebody out. And this is why a lot of people don't call. 
because they're they're too busy trying to find out information about the call instead of sending a servant out to investigate it and he can find out all he wants just send somebody out to the location and then stop trying to get information about the person who's calling it should be anonymous you know I don't care if they know my name because they know who I am anyway you know I don't need an officer to call me back if you send somebody out to this crossroad or Sheridan and Sligo Mill Road I said I'll be waiting for them when they get here I mean if he can't find Sheridan and Sligo Mill Road he don't need to be a police officer but they're so busy trying to get information about the caller and then the caller just hangs up and that's what irritates me because I don't feel I need to give you any kind of information I'm just reporting a crime that has taken place send a servant out here to take the report but this is how the government is. They want all this information about somebody. And while they're doing that, they're running your name. Trying to see if this person here is wanted for something. It's crazy. But yet and still, you're not out here patrolling this area. You're just citizens are. You got a little town with all these police in it. And they're not even patrolling. Somebody made, took this oil out of their vehicle. So that means that they took time to change the oil. And nobody stopped them from uh, changing oil on the side of the street. They got cameras right there. Let's see if Tacoma Park. Look at this. Bucket of oil. This, but this right here has been here for God knows how many months now. But this bucket of oil could be spilled over and kill the, the forestry. Could, I don't know. It's just, it just baffles me how we are, keep allowing this government. And I mean the one in the United States along with Tacoma Park to keep operating. As you see, they did it right here because you can see the trail of oil. And there's a camera right there. This is fucking crazy. And the taxpayers, you're getting raped by these people you put into office. You're getting raped with sandpaper. You got to really think long and hard about where your tax dollars, your hard earned money is going to and the service you're getting back from these individuals. I'm telling you, they're systematically trying to make an administrative government where they dictate to the citizens what is going on. Good example is my court case coming up next month on the 18th in the District Court of Silver Spring, room 104. Come and watch this excitement at 9 o'clock in the morning in room 104 where they have told me my constitutional rights mean nothing. I am not allowed to have a jury trial after I requested it after my constitutional rights are guaranteed to me the state of Maryland's state attorney's office says no he's not entitled to a jury trial even though the Maryland Constitution says that even though the United States Constitution says that they say it doesn't carry enough jail time to warn him a jury trial please for all you bootlickers and browns nose please show me that in the constitution that if a citizen is arrested on a criminal charge and he gets one day he's not entitled to a jury trial Show me the day in the Constitution, it could be Maryland or the United States Constitution, where it states 
it depends on how many days you are going to be confined in a jail cell. It determines if you get a jury trial or not. These people are systematically taking the Constitution away from you slowly and secretly, day by day. And you better start opening up your eyes, even for you little brown nosed people. Because if you're not in that elite class, sooner or later, the shackles going to be put on you too. It's going to be real interesting come July the 18th. Because I'm going to stand up for my rights. They say, oh, the Supreme Court is rule. Then the Supreme Court need to be abolished. Because they have went against the Constitution which states if you go against this United States Constitution which is the supreme law you are a traitor so from what the state attorney has said the Supreme Court is now a traitor to the American people So we're going to find out July the 18th because I'm willing to go to jail for mine. And for all you auditors that let these people fool you and scare you into talking about, this is the only way we're going to put a stop to it and, and this. Because I'm telling you, they are systematically removing the Constitution, which is the supreme law of this country. And how they are doing it, they're letting people into this country who are cowards. Who have been ran from their country by the real men and women and they have picked them up here and they're using them to change the judicial system this is why they've opened up the doors for all these individuals to smoke this marijuana get drunk have fun while in the background secretly they're changing the American judicial system and when they have it the way they want to, the doors are going to close on them. And then they're going to really start locking you up. And you're going to, your head is going to spin because you're not understanding what is really going on in this country today. I got locked up when they say they came to serve an eviction notice. Now, when you get evicted, you have time to pack your stuff up and get off the property if you get in evicted if you refuse to then you're allowed to proceed in a court proceeding uh, and have a judge hear your case that didn't happen to me one minute they're telling me I need to leave the next minute I have handcuffs on me tell them I'm trespassing never received any eviction paperwork but I'm trespassed and I'm locked up. And the funny thing about it, I filed a motion for a jury trial. Okay. It went to the circuit court. Circuit court judge says the state attorney is saying that I'm not entitled to a jury trial because my freedom, my liberties are only going to be taken away from me for 90 days. Isn't that some shit? Isn't that some shit? But one thing about it is this, just like I told the judge and the state attorney, your immunity has gone out the door when I received the order from the judge. And he says, the administrative judge for the District Court of Silver Spring said, this is how they're going to do it. They're going to send me back to the District Court for a trial. Afraid not. I'll take that contempt of court. Because you're not going to violate my rights where people died for these rights. And we're handing them over to the rich people in this country to do what they want to do. And people, you better start waking up and taking a stand and say enough is enough. The fuck you going to tell me I don't have no constitutional right when their forefathers wrote these laws up. And they're very clear. They're not hard to understand. And yet and still, they're trying to change them. And the fuck the state attorney or the, the prosecutor gets to decide if a citizen has a right to a jury trial or not.
the fuck out of here. I'm telling you, history always repeats itself. And sooner or later, there will be a civil war over here because people are going to start waking up. Yeah, you know, you got these little dope heads and these foreigners over here now who don't understand the law. But when they get tired of getting played, shit going to get real. And for you real Americans out there, the time is now to say enough is enough. And for you little cowards out there that every time the police come up there, well, we'll lock you. Stop being scared by that shit. Jail is not what you think it is. It's a playground. It's a playground. The prison system is not what it used to be. It's not what it used to be. So stop being scared by when the police come up there and you say, we'll lock you up. Shit is fucking crazy. Now we're waiting to see how long it takes the park police to get here. And that's hazmat stuff. So let's see if they take this with them or if they just leave it right there. You know, if it rains, all that oil is washed out into this forestry. Let's see if they call somebody to come and pick this shit up. That is hazmat in a forestry. I'm telling you citizens and taxpayers, it's time for you to wake up. Because shit is getting out of hand. These clowns up here did all this eviction and get me off to try to move me from off here so I won't be reporting what goes on in this little area. Well, the shit ain't gonna work. Bring it. I'm, I'm, I'm raring for a fight. Bring it. As you see, I went down there under the Freedom of Information Act to try to get all the documents. They refused to give them to me. Okay? Even though the law is very clear, upon request, you're supposed to give certain documents. Now they say that some kind of criminal investigation is underway. They still have all my vehicles and the customer's vehicles, my motorcycles. They still have them. After April the 28th, they have still kidnapped my vehicles and are holding them in Gaithersburg in an abandoned facility where only the police are supposed to be bringing vehicles there. But yet and still, the police of Tacoma Park says the owner of the property is the one who towed the, the vehicles. The owner said he didn't tow anything. He, matter of fact, he said he didn't even call the police. Have it in the text. So let's see when we get the green belt in the federal court, when this kicks off, how they turn on each other. And citizens, you're going to be right there with it. You're going to be there on the 18th when I go up to Silver Spring. If I don't come back out, then you know they locked me up for contempt of court. But I'm not going to settle for this. I requested a jury trial, and that's exactly what I want. I would never go before a one judge because he's corrupt. He has it in for uh, most citizens to try to fill the jail, and he's on the prosecutor's side. Ten out of nine, nine, ten out of nine times, well, nine out of ten times, He's going to find you guilty of it. So have a circuit court and have your peers hear your case and watch your attorney. Even my attorney says this is a bunch of baloney. But yet and still, we're still going to district court. Why not no paper? Why not say it's dismissed? If I went before a circuit court judge and it was a bunch of bull, why didn't he just dismiss it? Why? Because this whole thing is about to be a setup. And I'm ready for it. You see, they know they fucked up. So they have to find you guilty so they, you won't have to file. No, you can't file a lawsuit against them. 
but I'm the wrong one. I'm going to file a lawsuit. Their immunity is going out the door. Under the color of the law, they have went outside the scope of their jurisdiction. And they keep doing it. They have held my vehicles. They have seven vehicles down there. And the, every time I go down there, they want to say, am I there to pay to get them out? Why the fuck would I pay to get my own property, which is secured under the Constitution, out? When you came on the private property and stole them off the property with the help of the owner and at least he... And now you all turning on each other. As you saw one of my videos, the dispatcher, after I got released from jail, the dispatcher said the lieutenant and the captain told them not to tell me any information about where these vehicles were towed so I can go get them. If that's not a conspiracy, I don't know what is. I get out of jail to go get a tow truck to bring these vehicles out of the tow place, I would have paid the $60, $30, and then sued for it later. But the dispatcher of Tacoma Park stated, the lieutenant and the captain specifically told him not to give me any information where these vehicles were. Unbelievable, isn't it? There's zero paperwork on these, these vehicles that were made I'm pretty sure they've conjured up some now, but all the people contacted them and asked for the paperwork and they refused to give it to them. So, it's going to be an interesting lawsuit. And one thing about me, I, I'm not going to negotiate. You know, citizens of Tacoma Park. You brought this on your own self. Taxpayers of Tacoma Park, you brought this on yourself because you're the one that's going to foot the bill. You know, maybe, and I tell all the people out there, the auditors and, and regular citizens, when you start suing these individuals who wear those uniforms, who are committing criminal acts and doing illegal stuff, until the taxpayers get tired of paying their bill and take immunity away from them, keep taking them to court and suing them. Because when you sue them, the taxes go up. And sooner or later, the people are going to say, why are our taxes keep going up? Because X, Y, Z is happening. And then they're going to say, no, we got to take immunity and let these officers stand on their own foot when they know that. They go to school, they go to a training course, so therefore, they should be responsible for their own actions. I had the motherfucking chief of police out here locking me up for a trespass when several months earlier, he was notified that I was supposed to be there because they locked me up before. See, and I have the paperwork to that. But yet and still, this was done maliciously because of my YouTube channel. And it's not even, I'm just a beginner at this. I'm just learning how to do this. But you're not going to run me away, Chief. You're not going to run me away, Kate Stewart, the mayor of Tacoma Park, and your city council terrorists. It ain't going to happen. Matter of fact, I'm going to crank it up. I'm going to crank it up. You know, how can people who are supposed to be enforcing laws don't even know the law? And citizens, you really need to get rid of them. Look at the response time. Well, Tacoma, I mean, the National Park people say they come a long way. Why isn't it that we don't have more National Park police officers out here patrolling the park area? Why don't we have rangers up here like where I come from 
they have rangers. Uh, D.C. has rangers. Uh, I think Prince George's County has rangers. Why did you do away with the rangers in Montgomery County? Citizens, you got to start looking yourself in the mirror and saying enough is enough. These people are taking your hard-earned dollars and doing what they want to do with them. And they're sitting back laughing at you every day you write a check for taxes. It's like these food trucks that they have out here. Here's a here's a a park police now coming down here. This is car A63 of the Maryland National Capital Park Police. How you doing, young man? Hey, you? All right. Can I get your name and badge number, please? Yes, sir. Officer Bell, ID 2495. All right, Officer Bell. How you doing? doing um, good. right back here. This is where I I'm saying they changed their oil. And then they brought it right up here and put it up here in this park. Okay. Is it possible we get some hazmat or something? I don't know how y'all do this because if it rains, it's just going to, you know, we got baby deers and yeah, yeah, you yeah. see the trash. I'm, I'm, I'm a deer lover. I'm an yeah, animal yeah, no, lover. I'm with, and, I'm with, I'm with you, you know, this is, it wasn't here yesterday. Mm -hmm. You know, and this is an ongoing problem back here. And we, I, I'm not at you, you the real police. I mean, I've been trying to get Tacoma Park to come out here and start patrolling this area mm -hmm. and do more because you guys, from my understanding, are far out and they're right here. This is unacceptable, man. Yeah, the only thing is, you know, we have about six officers that yeah. cover the whole entire county. So, yeah. instance, I'm, I'm Silver Spring, down Tacoma Park, I'm all the way yeah, yeah. Colesville. Yeah, I, I spoke to one of your lieutenants in the yeah, cabin, yeah. and he explained that to me. But you got these Tacoma Park police officers right here. Yeah, this yeah. is unacceptable. Right. I mean, y'all should be joint helping each other out. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's no way somebody's still right there in, in oil change. And 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 no, the chief says he has patrols down here. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen a patrol yet. Is it possible I can just get the CCN numbers for this call if you don't mind? Yeah, absolutely. But this is look what, like way they changed it, and right here. They have a camera. Now, they, let me ask you, is that our camera or is that No, Tacoma that's Tacoma Parks, Parks okay. and then they have one right there on that tree down there by where the uh, sign is, so they should have caught whoever this is, but... Any question, do you think you know where it's coming from as far as who's changing oil? Is it like a shop around here or is it just, you know, guys that know me? That, this, here? you, um... Your park people came out and put these signs up for me. Okay. And I don't know where these guys are coming from, but they, they're parking here. They're still parking here. You see how this trash, your volunteers came out here several times to clean this up. It was clean. And as you see, we got more trash back here. And Yeah, go, go ahead. I'm going to... And they know that there's, there's no enforcement back here. So. Yeah, I understand. There's people just dirty in the park. They don't, they don't take pride in it. But what, what, what I'll do is I'll definitely get you a case number. Uh, what we normally do for stuff like this, we have, normally have maintenance come out. We put a maintenance request in. All right. Yeah, but, I mean, what if it rains tonight? That's why I'm going to probably take it in. I'm, I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put it at at this point, you know? Yeah. Because I... I I'm thinking about taking it to the dumpster, but I'm like, ah, it's just not as good as like with oil. You know, we don't really deal with you know. Stuff yeah, I understand like that. Things, I understand you know? that because that's my biggest thing. We just had some baby deers out here. Yeah. And if it rains, mm -hmm. it's gonna overflow. Some dumb old come out here and he turns it over. You know, I was gonna put it somewhere, but I ain't want nobody to say that. You know, these cameras because I'm beefing with Tacoma Park. They seem to have a Believe problem not, with me. I watched a million before I came for the Joint Police Department, right? So you know you always want to know the research on your police department where you're going to. So I did my research. I'm on YouTube and social media. And social media side, so yeah. I've seen a lot of your, a 
lot of your videos, man. I see oh, a lot my, of your videos. Yeah, I, and, and videos. they upset with me. But if you do your job, yeah, yeah, yeah. you wouldn't have this problem. Yeah, I know this you, is unacceptable. You talk to like PG County police too, and they be on the line. You be like, they are not supposed to be right. I mean, you have me dying laughing, man. But I mean, you know. It is what I'm not even from here, man. But the okay. problem is, people got to wake up, and 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 this is tax dollars. Mm -hmm. You know, they're not even the real police. And and now they are the real. Police. No, y'all are real. I, I know they start to go through the little yeah. course, but if you don't even know the laws that you're trying to enforce, I don't consider you the police. You know, and I have, I don't have nothing against the police, and that's what they feel to realize. But the problem is when you keep letting this happen, and you're not doing nothing, and you're still taking tax dollars from people, this is unacceptable. Man, name Mr. Mike. Yeah. So I'm gonna say, Mr. Mike. I'm in no way, shape, or form trying to, you know, side with them. But I will say, to come apart, they are busy. And they every I know you know, every law enforcement agency is, when I say you're shorthanded, and they actually had a shooting, like, what I think was two weeks ago. So, yeah. I, I understand, you know, this is something that's important, but they are busy, man. And they and they short. They're not a big department well, at all. Well, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. The money that you're getting from the taxpayers all right. in Tacoma Park, they could hire suitable, good... They can't... Nobody can hire. You want to know why? Because people know they're corrupt. That's what the problem it's, it's is. You every, got it's every agency though, like all but, agencies, nobody we can't get nobody. You, but I'm telling you, mm -hmm. law enforcement has took a hit, and people. I don't know why brass and the upper people don't understand that. Mm -hmm. The perception of law enforcement now is just crooked. It's just the brothers hanging on the corner now. You know, I I I can tell you right now. Mm -hmm. I know several DC police officers mm -hmm. that are straight criminals, and they're on the force now. So why would I want to go join them when that, you know, they just as bad as I was back in the day. Yeah. And that's what the problem is. It, but we're, we're trying to take immunity away from law enforcement. And then I believe you'll get a better class of people when you start being held accountable and not falling on the taxpayers. You know, I, believe me, Tacoma Park has some good officers. I, I, I know them personally. But you got a bad set of people sitting at the top that are corrupt. That are corrupt. Yeah. You guys, yeah, I met a couple of y'all, the young lady that comes down here, more good officers. I met just a few of y'all, good officers. You know, I call y'all the real police. I don't have nothing against y'all. It's just, I like policing. If you're gonna do it, do it across the board. This is unacceptable, you know? And then you get mad when I put you out there on social media, come on. I'm the wrong person because I believe in the, I'll fight you. I'll fight you to the nail. Because if I'm right, I'm right. If I'm wrong, lock me up and, yeah, and no you know what I'm saying? No, 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 that's what I'm saying. But some people do. Mm -hmm. If you're doing your job, doing the right thing, why are you worrying about somebody videotaping you? Right. You know? Yeah. But my thing is, the Tacoma Park, I catch them sitting behind McDonald's, Burger King, and all these places. When they can come down here, they could park right there. It's every weekend that this goes on. And then you have cameras. Upgrade your cameras with the tax dollars. Them, them little deer spotting cameras, they're not really going to catch nothing. Yeah, I think this is where they, they took it out right here. You got that camera. You got. I don't know if they picked them up or not. I don't know if they changed the batteries on these cameras. I'm not even gonna sit here and act. I'm an expert with oil and stuff, cause you know they didn't teach this. But as far as I want to just try to dump it somewhere, I'm trying to think where I could dump it and not cause damage. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's a that's a hazmat thing. Uh, there's the uh, Jiffy Lube right there. I don't know, if, you know, if they'll take it. I can go down there and ask them where they could. Where they, if anything, I'll, I'll do that. You know. No, I know them. So, I mean, that's why I said that. I just don't want it to rain and then, you know, be careful. They, you know, they probably have they could dispose of it. Yeah, they have a di disposable thing over there. Um, can I get a, your, one of you? You have a card with, oh, yeah. yeah, with your seats and numbers on it.
Yeah. Miss Moore is still over here. Yeah, who? Moore, the, the young lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She actually oh. just got uh, community service. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's an excellent officer. She need to get, put some rank on her. This officer here says he's gonna go down to Jiffy Loop Oil and see if he can get them to take the oil and pour it in there. That's just what I mean by good law enforcement officers. They go beyond the call of duty. You can just say it out. I'm oh, yeah. So zero zero one six zero is the last five. That's all they really need to remember. So you hit talk to our dispatch. Zero huh. zero one six zero. Okay. The last five digits. Okay. And this is you, Officer Bell. ID two four nine five. This is Officer Bell. Excellent officer. Forty one. Forty one. Yeah. Um. Okay. I don't know. I mean, uh, you gonna ask him or you? I'll go. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's, they, hey, there's, you know, we got stolen cars back here too. Right. He's going down to ask the Jiffy Lou people if they would take the oil that's in this park. Thank you, Mr. Rowe. What's up, man? So, yeah, they pretty good guys, man. I, that's why I was gonna bring it if y'all couldn't probably get it done. But I it, thank it, you, Mr. It's still, it's still good just to have that on file that way. You know, yeah. Complain. So yeah. It happens again that way. Well, I, I, what I'm doing is I'm writing a report and I'm gonna send it up to the governor because this is there's got to be something to be done about this. You know, it's every weekend that something goes on back here and my thing is I, if you saw the video the chief of police of Tacoma came back here he said his officers were patrol yeah. we have cameras set up and they're not patrolling they come to Sheridan they turn down Sheridan and then they leave but you're not making me mad I, I mean I'm just showing the taxpayers what you're not doing you know we have to call you guys you know they say y'all had took over this area which is yeah. another lie because y'all don't have jurisdiction over the whole thing so how it works is like we have um, the, uh, the current jurisdiction, but in the wood area and the, the wood line is like crazy. Like we have some of the area in, like I think we're the coat down there. It's not ours. So, yeah. Like, we literally have out of all of this like a small piece of this. Yeah. And that part is ours, and then we got like going back down to a slide going stuff. But I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll do it because a lot of times our call volume, we don't really have a lot of call volume, but we just have so much area. So when a call does come out, for instance, an alarm came out, it's all the way on the other side. So yeah, we that was well, six it, officers. Like I say, your, your, your brass say that it's just a couple of y'all work on the weekend, yeah. but they have a lot of officers and they got a whole lot of calls. Start hiring good officers. Get rid of these the people with like this. You was, like you were saying, I mean, nobody wants to be the police. Like, nobody. Not nobody. Just, not just, you know, 
number for us. It's just hard for us. I mean, they increased, it, it, they put signing bonuses on. They increased the salary. Like, capital food salary now is starting 70000 Yeah, but it's, it's about corruption. It's about corruption. People do not want to get hung up. I would up. say corruption. I think the biggest thing is sometimes, you know, people see on, on in the media. And, and the media can display a lot, but they don't tell you the whole entire thing. But also, I mean, I'm not going to lie and say there is corruption in a lot of agencies. Like, I documented with the uh, border officers. I just watched that, you know, with the... Uh, yeah, well, I'm talking. About, I'm not talking about that kind of corruption. I mean, that goes on. You're right. It goes on everywhere. But what I'm saying is this: a um, couple of days back, there was a, sh a shooting in D.C. Okay. So he's going to pick this all up and bring it back to Jiffy Loop. Are you gonna put it in your trunk? Oh, you're just gonna care? Yeah, in the academy, man, they used to make us have bottles and all type of stuff carrying it through five flights of stairs. Yeah. Yeah. No, but I was saying in DC they had a shooting mm -hmm. two blocks, so we were there watching right. the police and they didn't even move. So, why do people wanna trust the police now? You know? They don't want to be, because you get hemmed up in so much foolishness now, it's hard to get out of it. You know, they don't want to get in that, so they just stay on, let them do it. But it's going to change, it's got to change. You know, uh, corruption, you know, you get hemmed up in that, and next thing you know, your whole life is over, with, and you're thinking you doing something real well. Yeah. You know, it, back when I was growing up, man, we respected the police. They walked around, they did they beat, you know, you, know you got in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and they knew you. Yeah. Now, like I said, I could I could tell you about some people who just straight criminals wearing the badge. And I know that firsthand. All right, my man, I appreciate y'all too.